I won't have anyone commenting under all my cartoons saying, you, you need to give your Pulitzer back. <laughs> Let me just grab a pen, a good pen. Not that one. This coming Monday is Pulitzer Monday, so it seemed like the perfect opportunity to bring on my cartoon hero, Darren Bell. You're an interesting creature in cartooning for a number of different reasons. I mean, you are the hardest working guy in cartoon land in that the political cartoon is just one, it's almost a side hustle for you. You've got two comic strips that you keep going. I merged the two when I realized I wasn't sleeping more than two hours a night. I grew up in the shadow of Paul Conrad. I have to say that there's a lot of Conrad in your political cartoons. Conrad's work was the first political cartoons I'd ever seen. And I wanted to be Conrad. There is a serious shortage of cartoonists of color and women cartoonists. During the trial of George Zimmerman, it's, it turned into the trial of Trayvon Martin, and half the country was so quick to say he had it coming. If my son, when he was 19 or 12, if he got shot, half the country would say he had it coming. That's what drives me. I'm trying to change the world for my son through pictures. The one that I saw you just put up is dealing with the Biden accusations. My interpretation is it's a black hole and the news of what happened with Joe Biden is gonna get sucked into it. And then you did the uh, the Lysol and the bleach jokes. The Trump administration is more absurd than whatever it is we can think of. Mm -hmm. So every once in a while, I just depict what he's saying. And I don't have to exaggerate at all. And I also thought it would double as a PSA. This is from your Pulitzer portfolio, the Rudy Giuliani pulling his soul out of his body. That's my favorite caricature of mine that I've ever done. The caricature is really astounding, but it's really disgusting. I want people to have a reaction, a visceral reaction. But are there other things that you've encountered in your career? I was drawing political cartoons advocating for gay marriage, for equality. Marriage is just marriage. Marriage is two people who love each other. Mm -hmm. Everything else is, is prejudice. This really gets to sort of the fundamental problem we have in, in the cartoon tribe with the lack of, of, of voices that authentically understand things like discrimination or the lack of women cartoonists who are drawing from a, uh, a, a feminist point of view. I think a lot of it is is that editors are still mostly white guys and they're, they're the gatekeepers. Women cartoonists are gonna look at it through the lens of, of mm -hmm. being a woman and I'm gonna look at it through the lens of not being a Caucasian guy. Mm -hmm. And that's important. A lot of editors, will, like, like a lot of other people in, in the country, will assume that that they don't have they don't have a bias if they're white. Mm -hmm. They they assume that they they look at things objectively.